So today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to actually talk through this tutorial. I usually do voiceovers because my house is usually very loud, so I try to just do the voiceovers because it's a lot easier for me. But I know you guys want to get to know me more and want to get to know my personality a little bit better, wetter, a little bit better, and um, so I thought, why not? do this. So today I wanted to do a fall look obviously because I'm all in the fall colors and I got the Natasha Denona palette, the star palette, which holy moly, probably the most expensive palette that I've ever purchased in my life. Um, but it is absolutely beautiful and I swatched it in Sephora and I was just like, okay, I need to try it. And I just figured, why not? I needed to try it because the swatches that I put on my fingers were just insane. And I just felt like I don't really buy too much too much makeup anymore um, because I'm very thankful to receive a lot. So why not, you know, spend $169 on a palette, you know? I mean, why not? Okay. So my bank account cried a little bit, but it's okay. It's for makeup. It's for a good cost. It's for my job. That's what I usually say. I usually say it's just, it's, it's what I do. What I do. Um, so. I primed my eyes with Painterly and I did my brows already. I will tell you guys what products I used. I use the Anastasia Brow Definer in medium brown and then I also use the Sigma Brow Powder in medium brown. And then I kind of switched it up and used the 3D Brow Tones again because I've been really, really liking this lately. Um, this is in shade 4. And then I, I set it with the Anastasia Beverly Hills gel so after that i prime with painterly as always you guys know that is what i do i always prime with this i'm gonna use the 242 from makeup forever and i'm gonna go into the most basic color <laughs> i've actually tested this palette a little bit as you can see i'm gonna use this color right here it doesn't have a name oh wait no it does have a name it's called flesh that is a nice interesting name and i'm just gonna put this in the crease and this is going to be our transition color and it matches my shirt really well so usually when i sit down and do my makeup actually almost every tutorial that i do i really never know exactly <clears throat> whoa where'd that come from i really never know exactly what i'm going to do but i have like an idea in my head so i always sit down and literally not knowing what's going to happen if it's going to be smoky if it's going to be light if it's going to be um you know, I really don't know what I'm sitting down for. So I always just do my eyes first, just in case it gets a little wild. Okay, so now I'm going to take this color here. This is called Phoenix, this one right here. And I'm taking a F63 brush by Sigma. And I'm gonna go on the outer V Oh, this is super light. Okay, so we're going to work with this one a lot. I'm going to go on the outer V and just kind of start to bring that over into the crease. And we're going to make a, a halo eye. You guys know that's like one of my favorites. I did the halo eye on literally everyone. I've done it on hooded eyes. I've done it on... Huge eyes, deep set eyes. It looks beautiful on everyone. So I can't just say compliments just mine because literally every person that I've done it, done it on, it's just been so pretty. So you just kind of have to like put them in different areas depending on the eye shape. Like you have to just be maybe a little bit lighter in some in the inner corner or maybe bring the shadow up a little bit more so you could see it in the middle is what I'm saying. So. It just depends. But. So you can see that this eye is actually a little bit more different than this eye. You can see this eye has a lot more lid space, which I love this eye so much. This eye and this brow is like my favorite right now. This eye and this brow is not my favorite so much right now. Um, so I try to just make them obviously look as identical as possible. It can get hard sometimes, but Try to keep the center of the eye as naked as possible. It's okay if you get a little bit of shadow here so you see how much 
cleaner this is in this eye it just happens because of the shape of the eye which is completely fine i'm good with it and now i'm going to go in with electra which is that purple shade right there and we're going to do the same kind of technique just kind of deepening the outer corners not darkening the crease too much because i feel like the crease is a nice shade and I kind of want to keep it that shade. Again, don't blend too high into the crease. I know I touched it a little bit, but that is fine. This is actually kind of brightening that area. Okay, so I always do the mattes first before going into um, any shimmers. So I'm actually going to go into another matte. I'm going to use this E25 from Sigma. It's actually stained, so don't worry. It's not, it's clean. It's just stained. You take this shade here. This is Gemma. This one right here. It's like a chocolatey kind of shade. And I'm just going to touch it a little bit and just put it in the outer corners again and just kind of deepen that up. It's funny because I feel like these kind of videos, when you're talking through, it kind of takes a little longer because you're just talking a lot. But sometimes that ain't the case, you know? Like when I do my Snapchat videos, it takes forever. And everyone's always like, you're still doing it? And I'm like, yeah, I just talk a lot. Sorry, guys. But I feel like that's the fun of it sometimes. Sometimes I really like just to watch a tutorial just to learn and not hear about the person's life, <laughs> but other times I do like to hear the person's life and, you know, relate to them. I'm just using this padding motion because that way it doesn't move too much. Kind of keeping it in those areas that I'm putting in but it's not giving me a crazy amount of coverage where I'm like, okay, need to seriously blend. Okay, so I actually like the way that looks. We're gonna go in with this shade. This is Atria. This is like a orange gold. And I'm feeling that, so let's do that. I'm gonna use a E58 by Sigma. I'm just gonna pat into there. Huh. And that's why this palette is that expensive, because for you not to have to work like that, I mean, so we're just keeping this in the center, by the way. You can go up higher if you want, I'm not going to go too high. You could pack it on as much as you want. Oh my god. And I'm gonna do that because obviously, look how fucking gorgeous that is. Sorry for cursing. You guys mind if I curse? Just asking because I wanna know if you guys are bothered by that. If not, I'm going to. If you are, I will keep it PG. Because I know that there are a lot of young peepees out peepees young peepees out there young people out there all right so i'm gonna mix um phoenix and electra and just kind of smoke it in there just kind of blend that out looking straight into the mirror so that i just can see like when i'm looking straight what you can see so i'm not really looking down too much because i want to see when my eyes are open, what the eyeshadow will look like. Because you want it to show something and not just, you know, when you're looking down. Which is sometimes a shame of the crease because I feel like it looks so beautiful when your eyes are down and then when your eyes are up, you just, sometimes you can't see it. But some eye shapes, my eye shape, you can't really see it too much. But 
guys know what I'm saying? I feel like I just want to see its full potential, so I'm just going to wet it and see what happens. So I'm wetting it with the Ready Set Radiant Tart. We're going to give it its full potential. Uh-huh. Yeah, that needed to be wetted. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, it's already gorgeous by itself, but I mean, what the heck? Anyways, I'm gonna move on to eyeliner and I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D eyeliner, obviously. This is in Trooper. So, I'm gonna do a simple wing. Mm hmm. Guys, if you really don't know how to do liner, this is the best liner that I would suggest to learn with. It's just so easy, so flexible. It cleans up really easy if you make a mistake. Like I'm about to make. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> you never know with liner. You really don't. Good. All right, so now I'm going to use Tarte, Tartus Mascara. And we're gonna coat the lashes. I'm gonna use Baby Love today. You guys know I have my own lash line. If you guys did not know, I do, and I love them so very much. This is Baby Love. And this is like one of the more natural side of the lash line so far. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Glue. And I just like to use a flat surface to pour that on. I will be pouring this on there just like that and putting that cap on there this is the best glue I've ever used ever 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 so if you have not tried it I definitely suggest it it's better than duo in my opinion still love duo but it just is better just what I think I also usually cut it this way. I'm gonna show you. I like to cut it that way on an angle a little bit so it doesn't poke me in the eye, if you know what I'm saying. I am going to take the tweezer that I love so much. This is the Sigma tweezer right here. And I'm just gonna slide that across there. Always do the middle first, and then you can grab the edges and place them there. Oh yeah, baby. That is a gorgeous sunset. That is a gorgeous, oh my god, it's totally a sunset eye. All right, so now what you're gonna start the face, I already moisturized, so let's back it up a little bit. So I'm gonna use the Becca Velvet Primer. Been liking this. Put it on my hand. Oh, it's been like coming a little bit more nicer out with that. Because I used it the other day and it was not coming out like that. Maybe it just needs to be shaken a little bit. Feels like a little strand on the skin. It does feel like velvet, like you're putting velvet on your skin. It's interesting because it has like that weird consistency that like disappears in like two seconds. So today, I'm so excited and I really hope that I have the right shade. I got the Fenty by Rihanna um, <laughs> little doodad here. Let's see, how do we open this? Oh, it's like fancy, okay. I got shade 280, the Fenty foundation. And I tried it out on my hand a couple weeks ago and I just wasn't crazy about it. I felt it on my hand the other day, like not too long ago. And I wasn't that crazy about it. Um, so, but then I saw like how many amazing reviews it got. So I was like, all right, let me try it. Not like I have a million other foundations that are still brand new. But anyways, I wanted to try it. So I got shade 280. Hopefully it is my shade because you know Sephora and their lighting. It's pretty shady. 
gonna put oh wait let me just show you the bottle how nice it looks pretty oh it says to shake well so let's do that first oh yeah you definitely have to shake this you can hear it mm-hmm Let's look at that, how nice. I'm gonna use the round kabuki. This is the F82. And we're going on just, oh, look, it's my shade. That excites me so much. Okay, so we're gonna use this quickly because I've heard that it dries really, really fast. So we're just gonna do one by one really fast. One face area, one by one, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. No to net room. Feels really nice. It looks beautiful. Wow. Like, completely evens out the skin. Has a really nice coverage. And I am feeling it. Wow. I did not think that this was gonna be that, ooh. I did not think that this was gonna be that pretty on my skin. Like, you guys a close up of that. Look how beautiful that looks. Oh, there's just a little eyeshadow here. Okay, look how pretty that is. And that's a one layer, and you can layer it up as much as you want. I'm just gonna do one more little squirt. Little squirt, very tiny squirt. You don't need a lot, but this is, you know, really nice. I can't, I can't take the coverage and the way it looks, oh my god, it really does look like a, a filter on. It's weird. It's freaking me out. But it's nice at the same time. Alright, moving on. We're gonna use the Shape Safe Concealer in Light Medium Honey. This has been my shade lately. What I've been going for. And I'm actually gonna mix it with medium just a little bit. See how like it's coming out gray. Don't want that. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's let's get the hair behind the ear. Okay, happening again. Bring it a little bit up here. Just feel like this shade kind of covers me a little better. A little on the nose. And now I'm going to use my quickie blending sponge. I just have to clean it really quick, so I'll be right back. So we are going to use this now. I'm gonna blend out the forehead area first. Blend out this area here. This area, and I drag the blender. I mean, I don't really, you know, play by the rules. I know that a lot of people are like, why are you, why are you dabbing? And I'm like, I just don't feel like it. Sometimes I just feel like, I get a better blend with dragging. Sometimes that's how I feel. You do you though. Whatever you feel, you feel that is the best for you, totally do it up. Pretty. All right. Super white on camera. All right. So now. Now I'm going to set with the Kat Von D translucent setting powder. I'm using the blender to do that. Ooh, that was a lot. Sometimes a lot is good though. I'm just gonna, ooh, that, you know, explosion. I'm just gonna put that underneath the cheekbone as well. Just like the way that cuts out. Mm -hmm. Okay, and for contour, I'm using my new obsession, the KKW Contour Kit in medium. This is medium, yeah, medium. Um, I'm absolutely loving this right now, especially the brush. I don't know why. I just really love the brush. It's just amazing. So, and you guys know me. I wasn't crazy about the other ones, the um, cream ones. I was actually pretty disappointed. So, this 
so you guys know like if I really love something, I really love it. I'm using the lighter contour shade first, just to kind of warm things up. Contour those just a little bit. But this combo, oh, child, it's just so good. I'm just going to blend this out down here, but I'm going to keep the baking powder up here. I'm using this as a tart kabuki. So now we're going to do a little blush. We use Captivating by Tarte and just put it on the apples all the way up to the ear. Apples to the ear. Now I'm going to finish the eyes. I use an E30. brush is like perfect for the lower lash line because it's got like that little point but it's not like sh too sharp where it like hurts <laughs> it's just really precise and I'm also gonna Gemma as well over here and over here creating that halo effect I'm gonna take Atrix and just it right there so it completes the halo just that little touch is really pretty I'm going to take the mascara that I used before the Tarte Tartist my favorite ever the only thing is I feel like it doesn't last that long Oh, it might. Maybe I'm just like really bougie and just, I don't know, like opening the mascaras. Maybe. And I'm just gonna put some. use this sheet right here because it is just so beautiful. Um, it is called Polaris. This one right here, Polaris. And we're just gonna put that in the inner corner. Oh, hello. There you are. Coming up really lightly. Alright, why aren't you showing up here? I need you to show up. That's why they picked you. Alright, I'm wetting the brush. Wetting it. It's coming up the way I want it. And the metallic shadows have a little bit more fallout. Because they're like highly, highly pigmented, which is fine with me. Because I just know that there's a lot of product in there, so I'm not worried. But how beautiful is that? I'm obsessed. You guys like it? Hope you do. Because if you don't, there's nothing I can do right now. <laughs> um, anyways, okay, so we're going to wipe this away. I'm using a spotlight duster F37 to wipe that away. Should I use the KKW again? Or should I use something else? Let's see. Actually, you guys know that I love the Anastasia ones, so I think I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use Perla by Anastasia, the liquid glow. You guys know I love this. So let's dramatically pour that on the hand because I need an Instagram thumbnail. Truth. And let's just put this over here. Oh, hi, how are you? And we're just gonna pat that up the face. Finger is the best way to do it because it just looks the most natural, does not take off any product, and you know, it just looks like the best, I feel like. Smack in the face. And you can suck as much as you want. I'm not gonna go crazy. Bridge. Blend that out on the cupid bow. On the chin. 
and yeah. So if you guys don't know, I am obsessed with Naked Wardrobe and they decided to send me their new cosmetic line and I'm so excited to play with it. It's called Dope Cosmetics. Here is the box right here. Black and rose gold, that is my style. And they are launched already, I'm pretty sure. So you're just gonna pick a nice color. Maybe I'll do two colors. So the shade I'm using is Orna. It's the beautiful nude here. Let's see. So we are going to zoom in on the lips and put this baby on. Oh, it smells just like Kylie's. I wonder if the name is in place. Oh, this is pretty. feels super nice on the lips okay that's it you guys I'm gonna set now with the ready set radiant just because it's in front of me mm -hmm. and that is it you guys I hope you really enjoyed this look um, if you have be sure to thumbs up this video and let me know down below if you guys want me to do more of these because I definitely will um, if you guys really like it so thumbs it up if you haven't yet and subscribe if you haven't already because if you ain't subscribed like what the heck you doing girl hope you guys have a great day night wherever you are but yeah let me know what you think about this look down below let me also know what you want to see for Halloween because I am so interested in what you guys you guys want to see because Halloween is coming it's almost here literally a month away which is scary but hope you guys enjoyed my annoying voice mm-hmm Love you guys so much. Bye. You should go feathers and see this too.